Come over here, boys. Quick. <laughs> you know what this is? Um, do they? Do you know the story behind it? So this is the indigenous jersey. And see all the handprints? They're all the handprints of every Aboriginal player at South Sydney. Can you find Dad's one? No. That's Dad's one. Do you know why that's Dad's one? Um. So see this animal? Yeah. That's called my totem. And that represents our family from the Bundjalung Nation. And we're part of the Wailabu tribe in the, in the Bundjalung Nation. And so with this, see the footprints? So they're the tracks of the goanna leading into the, 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 the rabbit. And you know what the rabbit represents? The team. Well, our team, but everyone in the South Sydney region. And the reason why we've got the rabbit is the way we're connected, see how the, all the totems meet to the rabbit? So that's how we're connected through the rabbit. And we become one. It's cool, eh? Um, here at South Sydney we get to um, have an input into the, the design of the jersey and um, what, what I think is great um, with the jersey is that um, there's so many boys from different backgrounds and different um, areas of Australia that um, we're all connected through that money. You know, to the legacy that a lot of guys have, have left before us. Um, you know, we've got a great representation of Aboriginal players uh, that have played for South Sydney over the years um, in the game. You know, Greg Inglis was a huge figure in our game. Nathan Merritt, um, you know, those sort of guys. And um, had a little bit to do with Chrissy when he was here, Chris Sandow. But I really, um, you know, admired someone like Dean Witters who um, played for the club um, and then went into the community and actually uh, coached the Redfern All Blacks to I think three premierships in the um, in the local community and he's still a part of the local community today. So, see Reese West, uh, Nathan Merritt on the wing, you know, and um, and then old Eric Sims back in the old days. So you know, just watching them fellas and just the rich history of black fellas coming through the um, through NRL and playing and um, was something that I wanted to be a part of. Um, you know the way they play their footy and how big they become and you know their household names at Rabbitohs. So another one for me is you know Joe Williams. He um, more so off the field. Um, some of the stuff he's doing now you know with, within the community and um, you know through social media and stuff like that. It's something that I look up to. The guys like Eric Sims, um, you know guys like that that have um, you know left their legacy on the club and um, we're just caretakers of the jersey at the moment. That. Um, you know, we can, you know, hopefully leave our legacy on the, on the, on the club as well. Yeah, I think storytelling is a part of our, our culture. It obviously, um, you know, it comes from our elders and it's passed down from generation to generation. And, you know, my father, his father's passed on to him. And, and I've learned a lot of my dad, you know, through, you know, where I come from and, and, and what happened there and the stories around that. And I guess it just comes from the, you know, the older followers that, you know, they, they teach their kids. And you know, that's now it's my opportunity and my responsibility to pass that on to my kids, you know, and they pass on to theirs and just keep that tradition alive. And, and that's the only way we can still, you know, get our, you know, culture still going and is by t telling stories that have happened in, you know, and why, how Earth was created, how you know, indigenous people come about and how our ways were, how we used to, you know, traditionally do stuff, dance, song, you know, it's amazing you know, we still, you know, we still can live it to this day and um, it's only going to get better, so. Where's the little, where's the big rabbit? <laughs> there. Is that your handprint? One, two, how many? Can you count them? Two, no, six, <laughs> no, three, no, two, three, now. Is that how many? 
Wow, where's the shark? Do you know your totem? That one? Shark? Mm-hmm. You say Guruwi? That's where it pop, eh? Hey, pop. Birupai? The shark? Where's Ma- uh, Where's Nan's? Goanna? There. Lizard. Yeah. Lizard. Yeah, lizard. <laughs> and, 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 and this is. What's that? Um, and rabbit. Rabbit, oh. Yeah, Indigenous Rounds obviously a very important one um, for myself and um, a lot of Indigenous players out there just about um, recognising the traditional owners of, um, of the land and um, being Torres Strait Islander I respect the fact that um, I'm on the land of um, Aborigine communities and um, yeah it's a great honour for me to be able to put on that jersey. Yeah well I think Uncle Joe sort of we gave him a bit of um, you know inspiration a bit of you know storytelling behind our stories and I think he come up with a good a good you know design where it's you know a few handprints it's our story you know it's just you know ways that it leads to our, our you know our mob and yeah for me it's it's all about belonging um, obviously as black fellas you know in the past we've been taken away from our families and, and grown up sort of on the wrong side of the law and stuff like that um, personally for me it's been a big thing to have the jersey and um, have all the different strands and the handprints and the totems and stuff like that, it, um, for me it's a sense of belonging. We can go out in the same jersey and, and represent the, the rabbit and um, you know that's something that's obviously very important around this area and um, very important to people in Sydney because you know all the indigenous, well, most of the indigenous people that I know, you know they go for the rabbitos. Do you know what the totem means, our totem? No, not really. Yeah, so our totem is the, uh, the emu just there. Um, that's my handprint and the emu inside it. Um, and what it, what it represents is our family and where we're from. Um, you know, Moree, Tumala, um, Mungandai, Bogabilla, all those places where um, Nan and Mum side. Um, that's what the emu represents. And, um, you know, to have it on the jersey and to have it representing our family and, you know, representing those who have passed and, you know, all of our family members who have passed and who have got us to where we are. Um, the tracks just show. Um, what they represent for me is the journey that I've been on, um, the journey who you know we've been on as a family. And as a design, we got all our totems there. Mine being the black duck from Ewan, Ewan country down the south coast. Um, we also got the Torres Strait colours and Aboriginal flag on the sleeves. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have three different ones here. So I'm um, Bunjilung Waramai and Dungadi, which is the dolphin, the prey mantis, and the goanna. So yeah, it's obviously just about connecting and becoming one. Um, and we all connect with the rabbit, so uh, that, that includes the non-Indigenous people as well. So, um, mine's at the bottom. We've all got our totem in our hand as well to, to represent, you know, where we come from, our culture. And I'm a crocodile down the bottom. We're all from, you know, different mobs, different places. We've got different backgrounds, um, you know, different history in our lives. But we all, you know, have our own journeys, and we all come together to uh, play for South Sydney. Uh, my totem is the uh, the dolphin there that represents uh, my mob and my people, and. Uh, to have that on a jersey and to have our story and um, displayed and you know on the big stage, uh, it means a lot. Yeah, so mine's um, the shovel nose shark, obviously. Um, Torres Strait Islander. Uh, um, yeah, it's just um, special to um, me and my family and uh, myself personally being able to, I guess, um, represent that on such a big platform in the NRL. And yeah, I think the Indigenous rounds. It's very important. Um, not only for the NRL, but particularly for us. Um, we're a proud Indigenous culture. With the All Blacks um, obviously playing their first game here in 1930, um, they're, they're such a big part of the community and and, and rightfully so, it's, it's their land and being here located in Redfern, but um, you know, our supporters all over the country, um, you know, we get endless emails and um, messages through social media and whatnot, and the impact it has is, is greater than um, just the one week that we, we support it. Um, Myself, obviously, having an Indigenous family, my wife and kids are Indigenous, and um, yeah, it's special to be a part of, obviously, to represent them and the culture. Yeah, it's obviously huge um, having South Cares, um, you know, within the club. Alicia, the general manager, um, is Aboriginal. Uh, she does a great job, um, you know, with their school to work program. Elaine Gordon is an ex-player, um, does his mentoring throughout the South Sydney district, mentoring young Aboriginal kids through school and then on to work, on to, you know, work after school. So. Uh, those sort of programs are always in place and um, you know just recently through the COVID period um, 
You know, they they sourced out some uh, central groceries and, and dropped them off door to door for, you know, elders, people of the community that couldn't go shopping. Um, just the whole community around Redfern especially, um, you know, it's like the heart of South Sydney and um, everyone loves it. Everyone's passionate about the jersey and, um, you know, get some characters around here, but they just love, they love the team and um, they love the boys as well, so. Yeah, no, it's awesome. It's, you know, we get to um, express ourselves, our, you know, our paintings, our artwork and um, just our culture in general. So we get to, you know, obviously, you know, come go out and play a game we love, but to be able to, you know, for something that I stand for and, and I'm proud of and have it on the jerseys, it just makes it 10 times better. You know, it's just, we want that equality. We want to be, you know, part of the community. We want to, you know, you know, just share our, our, our experiences, our culture, you know, we want to pass that on. That's what it's about. That's what we're about. We're about sharing and, and giving. And, you know, we're not about taking, you know, we don't take, we never take, you know, and Mother Nature has given us an opportunity to live a life where we can pass on, you know, stories and, and everything else in tradition.